Single stack? Double stack? Pancakes? No. Magazines. That's what's next. Welcome back to 9mm Tuesdays on Get on Target with Link. Today we're talking about magazines. The difference between a single stack and a double stack is what we're going to go over today. This is a double, this is a single. What's the difference? We're going to show you right now. Okay, today we're going to be looking at the double stack magazine for a 9mm and a single stack magazine or two for the 380 ACP model. Now remember, their, their widths are basically the same, 0.36 and 0.37 of an inch, respectively, of the 380 and the 9 millimeter. But the difference in the magazines is going to be substantial. Okay, so we have three magazines here. This is the double stack. Uh, for the 9mm. This is for a Taurus G2C. This is the single stack for the Glock 42, but the single stack is just ever so slightly offset. We'll get to that in just a minute. And this is the single stack for the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. Here's the difference. In a single stack weapon, Basically, the rounds are directly on top of each other in a single line, making the magazine very slim, very, very petite. But on the double stack Taurus, now the rounds are seriously offset, as you can see. But this allows more rounds to be put into the magazine in a shorter configuration. Now, as you can see, the top one is centered. Now, that's centered because as the rounds get moved up along the magazine as they're used, being pushed up by a spring, at the top, they're angled and so that the top round is centered, so it's in alignment to be chambered. But the double stacking of it makes the magazine fatter than what you will expect in a single stack. And you can see here the difference in the width of the two magazines. It's quite substantial and that translates into the width of the gun itself. So let's take a comparison real quick. This single stack right here on the Smith & Wesson is 0.43 inches wide. We're looking at 80.8 on the double stack. That's a big difference. And it's going to take a bigger gun to handle this one than it would this. And that translates into the size of the weapons. But it also translates into the capacity. This is a six round magazine. This one holds twice as many. This is a 12 rounder. Now, this is actually a good view because you can see the angular nature at the very top of the magazine. As the double stacks go working their way up the magazine, getting ready to be next on board, they are angled toward the center and they're ready to be chambered at the very top. They're centered uh, perfectly. That's how they work. These are both... 380 ACP six round magazines. However, whereas remember, we were looking at 0.43 inches across on the Smith & Wesson, now we've grown to 0.65 on the Glock. 
And the difference is you can see the, those windows. The windows are provided to see, to make sure that you have, uh, how many rounds you have in the magazine. So when you're loading it, if you lost count up to six, shame on you, you're going to be able to cheat and look at those windows and see if you have six rounds in the magazine. But on the Glock, those windows are offset from each other. That makes it a little bit wider, but it makes the spring compress a little bit less. It might be a little bit easier to load, but we're going to talk about that next week. We're going to get into that in detail. This one is truly straight up and down. No mess, no bother. And that's the difference in the width of these two. And it translates into the width of the gun. And we're going to see that right now. We're going to start with the biggest of the three. This is the G2C. And again, all of these weapons are empty and safe. But this one, taking the double stack magazine has to be wider. And so when we measure the, the grip, we're going to find it's 1.08 inches across at the, mid, at the midpoint. It's about average on the, on the length of the grip. 1.08. Okay. Now, the next one we'll look at, again, a safe weapon. This is the Glock 42. Now the Glock 42, if you remember, that had the magazine that had the slightly off-centered uh, rounds, that they're not quite straight up and down. They're just a skew of each other. So that's going to make this one maybe a little bit wider than its little brother, which we're going to get to next. But this is 0 0.89. Okay? 0.89. But that's significantly more narrow than the G2C. You can see it. Very, very different. Okay, last but not least, or least in some ways, it's the tiniest of the three. Again, safe weapon. So here's the Smith & Wesson m and Bodyguard. Now this is using the um, this is using the straight up and down super skinny little magazine. Still a six rounder like the Glock but much thinner. And how does that translate? Well at the midpoint we're looking at 0.76 about three quarters of an inch on this weapon three quarters of an inch in width. That's quite small. Quite small. So, we compare it to the, the Glock, you can see that you can see the difference in the in the width of the two guns. It makes a difference in how it feels to hold the weapon. It doesn't look like a lot, not here on the camera, but in your hand, the difference in the feel of these two guns is substantial. And it's all because of the way that the magazine is designed. The offset nature of this one versus the straight up and down nature of this one. The other thing that we're going to see on these is that this, is a, this has a much higher capacity than this does. Twice the capacity. This is a little six-rounder. Actually, so is this. This is also six rounds. This is 12 over here. And the 12 rounder is going to have an implication in, as we've seen, the size of the gun, but also the appropriate usage of the guns. This matters. Uh, the smaller the gun, the easier it is to conceal, the easier it is to carry, the more comfortable it is, the more you'll just sort of ignore it when hopefully you have no need of it whatsoever. As it gets bigger and bigger, you have to make more and more concessions to the size of the gun to be able to conceal it. That's going to, that's, uh, has implications in what you wear, how you wear it, etc. So these are really important features of the weapons that you're going to purchase. 
So when you go to purchase a weapon, these are things that you're going to have to think about. Well, that's it for this edition of 9mm Tuesdays with Get On Target with Link. Hope it was helpful. Hope you learned something about single and double stack magazines. Next week on 9mm, we're going to learn how to load those magazines and how it's different for a single stack and a double. And I hope you're going to be there with me. So until then, like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. There's going to be a lot more coming up. I don't want you to miss it. Hope you're there with me. See ya.